Hey, so in this video I show you a pork canning recipe. As the name suggests, first of all you need some pork. I have some pork belly and pork shoulder. You can use different pieces. This is what I had because I was making some sausages. Completely up to you if you wanted more fatty or more lean. Then on the spice side, there's also a lot of variation possible. I also have a few in my recipe article below. For the video, I'm using salt and cure, some black pepper, a good amount of margarine, then allspice, mace, ginger powder, and some phosphates. They are optional, you can skip them. However, because the meat while cooking loses a lot of water, for me, it helps with the final texture. You could also use some gelatin powder added as well. Completely up to you. I will explain that later again. I would say let's start with the recipe. First of all, you need to cut the meat into cubes or strips. Again, this is completely up to you depending on how thick you want the pieces in the final canned pork. For me, it is that I cut the leaner pieces a bit more bigger and the more fatty pieces I cut finely. Then we can add the spices, the marjoram, and then mix everything well together. This is an important step. Please make sure that you mix it really, really well so it gets a nice binding. If it gets too sticky because of the dried marjoram, then add a bit of water. In the end, it should have this sticky binding and you can see it on the bowl that it sticks to it. And yeah, you can use this as a visual guidance. If you don't do this, then the meat will fall apart later on. Then you can fill it into jars or cans. Just make sure that everything is tightly compressed. Have as little air bubbles in it as you can. If you want, then this would also be the time where you add some broth with gelatin. However, for me, I don't add it. And I just make sure that there's enough space at the top because the meat will expand once we cook it and the lids open and we want to avoid that. Close everything tightly and then you can add it to a pot and cook it for roughly two hours. If you use a pressure cooker, the time will be lower. I do it like this. So yeah, just check the timetable in the article. After two hours, you will see it boiling and I think it looks pretty nice. So make sure that you don't burn yourself when you get it out there. And then after you let it cool down, you can eat it. And as you can see here, there's some fat separation. And then there's also a space at the top where there's no liquid. If you want to avoid that, then you need to add some liquid. And I also recommend that you add some gelatin powder as well. As you can see now, there are different variations of how to eat this. You can slice it and eat it on a bread with butter or you mash it with a fork and then you have a roulette style or you can use this and add it to complete meals. Just make sure that you don't cook it too long anymore because it's already done, it's already tender. So add it in the final steps of your recipe. And then taste wise, yeah, what should I say? It's rich it has a nice texture the meat is pretty soft but still holds its shape so yeah i can totally recommend it as always the full recipe is below if you like this video then please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video bye bye